All right, uh, today's piece, I wanted to take a second to talk about the Wren effect. Yes, you've heard it here. Now, we're a big supporter of Wren on the channel, but recently two worlds have collided because of my reactions. And I thought this was worth highlighting as a testament, a testimony, and sometimes people, sometimes these things are inspiring when you can relate to uh, certain things happening to other people that you might look up to or might be, you know, in, in, in a different sphere than yourself, right? Now, the Ren effect, I believe, is being highlighted by Ren in this moment within his community, um, which is through his personal struggles of his autoimmune disease, um, you know, misdiagnosis, um, you know, his music career, certain struggles that he has went through and how he has utilized music. It was, this is what I think. This is what I think. He's utilized music to pull him out of that darkness. And this music now is starting to pull other people out of darkness. Okay. So when we talk about the domino effect, the Ren effect, you know, it's like, the domino fell because sometimes the core, right? The root of this is the music. The reason we're reacting to his stuff is the music, is the artistic display within the visual side of his music, the actual music. But the core is the music. Now, um, I know he had support in his life. He, he's been through a lot, a lot. But essentially, you hear it infused in the music. And so I wanted to highlight that. Now, this is where two worlds collide, you guys. I want to tell this story. There is an artist named The Pete Box, and I look at him in the same sphere as, like, Dub FX. He's an amazing looper and beatboxer, okay? Now, as you see here, you know, he has his own channel, has hundreds of thousands of subscribers. I mean, uh, one of his big videos, 6 million views, three, 4 million views, you know, 1 million views, 1 million views. Like, he is talented and well-known in the beatbox and loop station sphere. When we react, so this is how this happened, you guys. This is how you get this story. Don told me about the beatbox, and he's like, we should react to something of his. Um, I've seen him in Denver perform. And I was very curious, so we reacted. Now, fast forward to the reaction. This is the reaction, you guys. This is, uh, where is it, right here? Yes, we reacted. You guys can check out the reaction, but more importantly, you should check out Pete Box, his channel, his music. Go leave some comments. Show this brother love. Because I want to read this. This is where two worlds um, collide, okay? And when I talk about the Ren effect, and I want to highlight this, because I think it's important, especially for someone who's out there going through a hard time and might even feel like they're going through something um, that no one else is going through, you know? This one pertains to musicians and musicianship specifically. But this could go for anyone out there who, who might think they're in a position where, uh, uh, you know, where you're going through something that no one else is going through. We all go through similar things, and we got to band together to help each other out. And I wanted to highlight this. This was somewhat inspirational to me. Um, it's about the Ren effect, and Ren is involved in this. So I preface this. The Pete Box, an amazing beatboxer and looper with incredible content you should definitely check out. Now, we do a reaction to his video. Um, which video? We reacted to this video, the Pete Box Future Loops. Where is my mind? Okay. We react to that one. So this is what now the Pete box leaves a comment. Now, typically if this was behind closed doors, meaning like a DM on Instagram or something, I wouldn't just screenshot someone's DM and talk about it that I will not chase clout. It's not worth that. Relationships are more important to me than clout. Okay. But the Pete box left a comment. So this is public display. You can go to our reaction and read the comment for yourself. And this is why I'm doing this because for me, there's, um, there's, I want to talk about it. I'm going to read this comment from the Pete box. 
Hey, Black Pegasus, just saw this, and it's wild. Thank you so much for your kind words. And yeah, I was a judge for the loop category at GBB 2019 and 2021, so you may have spotted me. This has hit hard with me to hear such a deep and positive reaction. Now, he's talking about our reaction because we just loved it so much, and we're just like, yo, this dude's sick, and he is sick. He's epic, right? And this warmed his heart. This is where it gets interesting. After he says, um, this has hit me hard with me to hear such a deep and positive reaction. Things ain't been things haven't been great for me for a while and much um, and much as I can't stop. Hold on. Sorry. I'm reading this. Things haven't been great for me for a while and as much or and and much as I can't stop making music, I ain't released for a while. It's just seemed daunting now. I will I will do though. I was mad inspired by Ren, his music mainly then his story. And if you don't mind me asking, would you mind letting him know he's the inspiration for me driving ahead through the dark mist and doing what I do despite the choir of black clouds telling me not to do anything at all. It's cool if not, but I'd love him to know. Thank you so much. And this has touched me massively. Love and respect to you both. Now, that middle part, I kind of blundered it. And maybe it was the way it was, um, uh, the may- way it was written. But essentially what he's saying is that he's come to a crossroads in his life. And, um, and uh, things are not good for him right now. And he hasn't released any music. And he doesn't, you know... There's a point where he's like, yo, I don't want to release music. He's just in a, in, in a dark spot. But then he goes on to say, I was mad inspired by Ren, his music mainly, then his story. And if you don't mind me asking, would you mind letting him know he's the inspiration for me driving ahead through the dark mist and doing what I do despite the choir of black clouds telling me not to do anything at all? And um, I'm getting kind of goosebumps. Maybe this is just me, but seeing someone at the level of the Pete Box being, you know, he's toured the world like that we know of him because he performed in Denver and Don seen him live. Okay, I don't know where he's from. Um, I don't think he's from America, but I I don't know where he's from. Uh, Maybe he is. Maybe he isn't. But regardless, he's international star. Okay. And he's going through a hard time. And the simple fact that even us doing a reaction, being excited about his music, helps start this reset and regeneration. This isn't a tap on my back. I want to tell you guys deep down that I'm a hip hop artist that was this close to making it. This cl- like my career was always, it was this close and this far away at the same time. And I just never made it to that next level. Now, I'm not saying this is the end for me. YouTube's a new chapter of, I don't know what's happening here. But what I will say is, when I do these reactions, I sincerely wish in my career I would have made it, okay? There's moments where I'm like, oh, i rather do an original creation than a reaction, But there's something about getting on here and listening to other people's music and getting inspired by their music and excited that rejuvenates me. And I've been, I just don't know why it's happening like this, but that rejuvenation is rejuvenating others. And it's this full circle because it's not just because of our reaction. It just so happens that we react to Ren stuff on our channel and he must see that as well. And he's like, yo, man, the music and his story has inspired him to pull through. And that's what music is about. At the core fundamental, I wanted to highlight this as a testimony for us to allow certain things to pull us out of the darkness. Right now, I would say music. You know, I responded to him. Um, 
uh, but but it's not about the response. It's about us letting the music pull us out of the darkness, letting inspiration pull us out of the darkness, um, and, and, and taking the time to be fully engaged in what's going on around us. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you need that little push. Sometimes, you know, a lot of people be like, hey, you need to look in the mirror, slap yourself in the face. Ah, pull it out of yourself. You can do this on your own. And some people can do it on their own. But some people need a little bit of a push. And I would say all of us at times need that little extra helping hand, that friend, that family member, that stranger, that music, that inspirational video on YouTube, that reaction, something, just a catalyst to help you start the race again and get back into that marathon and keep going. And I just want to give a shout out to the Pete box because he is an amazing artist and to be this vulnerable and just put this in a comment is crazy because anyone who saw this reaction can read this comment. And, you know, um, I want to shout out to Ren in this moment being a catalyst for good for someone like the Pete box. And I just wanted to highlight this as like a testimony and inspiration. And I know there's a big Ren community that follows me um, here for the Ren reaction specifically. Some of them have kind of delved into my original content and other things. But essentially, there's a community here that relies on Ren and relies on certain things. But this inspired me to talk about it and also say we have to not only rely on people like Ren, right? Because in this moment, he's the catalyst, right? He was the vessel that helped the peat box get to the light in his current struggle to re-engage in creating content and chasing his passion and dream. And um, I believe us relying, there's a balance, right? Relying on ourself to see when we're in a certain place and find the reset, right? You can't, it's like some people be like, oh, just quit cold turkey. Just do this, do that. And that might work for some, but for a lot of people it's a process. And in my personal opinion and experience of 43 years on this planet, I believe that taking the time and doing it right, it will last longer, Right? Like sometimes people just trade addictions for addictions because they didn't take the time to do it the right way. And in this moment, I think, you know, taking some time, embracing the pain, the dark, the misfortune, the circumstances, looking in the mirror, being like, this totally sucks. Why did this happen? But then getting back on that horse and letting some of your muses inspire you, let the small things around you, sometimes it could just be a beautiful day in life or, you know, someone having a child, you having a child, like, you know, life in general, like there's so many things. Um, but I do believe that we need to get to another point where we can see the inspiration around us. And that's why in, in this, I was like, let the music, right. Pull you out of the darkness. Right. Um, let these stories of inspiration example Ren is a great story, but I've heard great stories from Tony Robbins, David Goggins, Joe Rogan. Um, there's stories out there. Um, the hip hop preacher, man, let these things help draw you out of that darkness so you can thrive again and really, you know, reach your potential. And uh, I don't know, this just, there's something about the Pete box being so forthright and vulnerable by just being like, yo, like, I, I'm going to just read this one more part one more time. This has hit me hard. Okay, this has hit hard with me to hear such a deep and positive reaction. Things ain't been great for me for a while. And much as I can't stop making music, I ain't released for a while. It just seems daunting now. I will do, though. I was mad inspired by Ren, his music, mainly mainly then his story. And if you don't mind me asking, would you mind letting him know? I can relate to that so much, you guys. 
when you make music, you become very passionate. It's a, it's a love. Like I have a love for music, creating hip hop music and you want people to hear it. So you're going to create on your own, but there's something about connecting with the audience and people enjoying your music. And there's just something about it. I'm sure Ren could explain it. The Pete box, all these artists, you know, who are even at a higher level than I am. The Pete box is way bigger than me as an artist, you guys. So for him to say this, but I felt this my whole career because I've toured all of America like seven times. I've toured Europe, Canada. I've, I'm international, but it just never hit, right? Then just like the high Ren video, you have these doubts in your mind. Like, oh, is the music not good enough, right? Because they say, well, the product's not good enough. If it's not selling, it's because the product. Oh, it's me. It's the way I write. It's this, that, and the other. You have all this self-doubt, and it's hard to remain confident in what you're presenting to the world because everyone wants to be accepted and loved. That's just simple human nature. Um, some people can deal with being an outcast and a misfit better than others, but everyone just feeling loved and accepted for your works, you know. And there's moments of delusion we have as artists as well. We think something is better than it actually is, blah, blah, blah. But I could really relate to what he's talking about, getting kicked in the nuts by the industry. Um, and maybe it wasn't the industry. I don't know what he's been through. But in these words, I know he's been through something. And the fact that he's in this space, but the inspiration of Ren's story and even the inspiration of a simple reaction, us just giving him his flowers, it's just so incredible to see that um, he's working through that. And uh, again, this to me is also an inspirational story about all of us being a little more kind to people and making sure we give people their flowers while they're here because you never know what someone's going through, right? Um, and I don't know. I don't know. There's just a lot here, but I wanted to t touch on this obvious, you know, I'm going to try and relay this message to Ren, but I know that a lot of you guys message Ren, and a lot of people rely on Ren for certain things, and that's also interesting because that could be a pressure on the artist, right? Like there's a pressure that you're like, you have to um, perform or deliver. You have to deliver, right? So there's this pressure on Ren's shoulder to deliver, right? Because there are all these people who are going to come, yo, I have this. I have Lyme disease too. I have this. Yo, thank you for that. It gets very emotional because of the type of music he makes. You are emotionally connected and invested into him. And that's a lot to take on for an artist to like have to pull this weight. So I want to remind that just be a, you know, a, a reminder of this. But um, I don't think it's I don't think it's a bad thing to rely on music, rely on inspiration, rely on faith um, when when you have nothing left. I rather you rely on something than leave this planet before you were supposed to leave this planet. That's what I'm trying to get at, you know? Um, and I just wanted to talk about this Ren effect that because I'm so invested in the Ren community that I keep seeing this Ren effect. This isn't the only story I've seen. This is the one I've highlighted because it's one of the bigger people with a bigger platform where it's like, Hey, you guys, you know, we might not be at this level, but this, affects all of us from very successful people to very high caliber musicians to the uh, blue collar worker, you know, working in the fields, whatever it may be. But I highlighted this specifically because it's when all these worlds combine, as you guys know, we've been doing beatbox and loop station reactions. Okay. We've been doing Ren reactions. We do a bunch of stuff on the channel, but for this world to collide like this, I was like, that's crazy. That's crazy. And then I can relate to going through the haunting, it rhymes, daunting industry that I'm in. And I mean, just deal with the most nonsense. Like I was about to blow up, okay? I dropped this album. Um, it was called FEO Radio's Buzzing. And I got an independent deal from LA underground. Okay. And they start launching the magazine ads 
and they start their distributor back then is about physical distribution. They start to get ready to distribute the album. And the week my album was supposed to drop, Tower Records went out of business. And that was their biggest part of their distribution. So now, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just, and then time after time after time, and sometimes I fumbled the ball, made minor mistakes here and there. Anyways, I can just relate to just being so close, but so far away at the same time. And I'm glad that the reaction, you know, could spark a little light, but then him, you know, getting hit with that Ren effect helped be the catalyst for him making some music. I hope he continues to make music and content. I hope he puts some new stuff out and um, I'm definitely, you know, going to try and do my best to relay the message Ren is a busy man, and I. that's the other thing, is I will relay the message. Will he get it? I don't know. Maybe, you know, even this conversation piece at some point. But what I would say, you guys, is um, as you guys come together as a community and support a lot of the things I do and others do, give the Pete Box some support. Go over to his channel and, uh, and, and subscribe. And go leave some messages on his comments. I'm telling you, if you guys check out this damn song, future loops where is my mind you're gonna be like what the you're gonna love it i'm not even bsing you you're gonna love it the, the, I've, i'm willing to place money that like 98 percent of ren's audience would love this but uh anyways i'm not here to sell it to you just want to shine some light on a brother who i think needs it um i do things based off of my heart and intuition and today was the day i you got to remember he sent me this message nine days ago and i responded to him and, um, you know, but I was, I don't know, it's been weighing on my heart. And today was the day. I didn't know exactly what I was going to say in this video, but today was the day. Today was the day. And so hopefully this makes sense. Maybe it's just a conversation, circular conversation piece. I'm just talking within my head between a situation that happened. But um, I believe this man, the Pete Box, is bound for greatness and he hasn't reached his full potential yet. And if he allows the music to pull him out of the darkness, he will, he will reach his potential. And uh, he'll look back on this comment and these days, and he'll, he'll smile. He'll be at the top of that mountain with that sun glimmering down, and he'll smile. And he'll be like, wow, it took me a long time to get here. I never thought I was going to get here. In the, middle of the, in the middle of the journey, those steps, I didn't have enough breath. I was sweating my, the, my leg muscles. My legs were jelly. I didn't think I was going to make it to the top of this mountain. But here I am, and this feels so good. I did it, and I reached my potential. That's what I think. Anyways, you guys, you know what it is. Just figured I'd you know, talk about that on the channel. I hope you guys are having a good one. I don't know when this gets released or not. Um, no need for an outro or an intro. It's just a, I guess you'd call it a monologue or some type of commentary. I don't know. But I think it's good to have these type of conversations. And when you do as many Ren reactions as we do on the channel and, and then Loop Station, and you know, for these two things to collide like this, to me it's crazy not to have this type of conversation. Um, so I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are trying to pull yourself out of that dark place, get to the light. And it is, you know, it's like that pendulum. It does go back and forth. Life ain't a highlight reel, y'all. Ups and downs, man. Ups and downs. I tell you that. That's that's the damn truth, ain't it? But um, do your best to stay in the light as much as you can. Get a little suntan like your boy. You know what I mean? Hey. Anyways, I love you, mother suckers. Hope that testimony brings a little light or relatability to your life. Love to hear what you think in the comments. Let's show the Pete Box some love. Let's show Ren some love. The new album's on the way. You know we fully support that on this channel. And I just thought this was a, a cool story to share with the masses on my platform. Anyways, love y'all guys. Peace, 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 and chicken grease. <laughs> no, bacon grease, fish grease. I don't know. I'm out.